Julie Sheldon is known as Wonder Woman to her family and friends. She has always been there to help others, those she knows, and perfect strangers as well. Our Charlotte Deleste shows us how this local superhero now needs others to join her in the fight of her life to do something good. People ask, why do I do it? I said, because I can. There really isn't that much more to it. <laughs> but there is so much more to Julie Sheldon's resume of good deeds, if you will. Think the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> She's the one behind the curtain. For me, it keeps restoring my faith in humanity, you know. Um, and you know you've done something good. You've impacted someone's life. I could gloat about my sister all day long, you know, how much time we have. <laughs> but uh... This is Jim, <laughs> Julie's older brother. How do you not make funny faces? I know. <laughs> Together, they started Quiet Santa in 2012, a sensory-friendly event for children with special needs to get that one-on-one -on -one time with Santa. The inspiration behind it? Jim's son, Stephen, who has autism. Something moved me, and I thought, I can do this. Again, I can do this. Well, it's, it's magic, right? I mean, seeing Santa is magic. And there was a reason I, I mentioned it to Julie, because I know if anybody could make it happen. She was the one that could make it happen. Merry Christmas. We had wrapping paper for a backdrop. We had a Halloween costume, Santa Claus. You know, it was shoestring budget as they get, but she made it work. She totally made it work. And we made, I think it was 20 families, 25 families, very happy that day. Especially this family. Kids on the spectrum are not big on eye contact. This kid, William was his name. Again, I will never forget this kid. Can you tell Santa what you want for Christmas? He looked right into my eyes, laser beam through my eyes into my soul and I looked right back at him and it was incredible. This year, Quiet Santa is taking an unexpected break. Um, it all happened so fast. But was... Julie was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer. Only 30 percent of people make it a year from the time that they're diagnosed and it just nosedives from there. Um, my first reaction was <laughs> I'll be dead. Like, <laughs> like oh, whatever, you know. Why her? Why Julie? Why did somebody that does so many good things for so many people so often? You're going to take that person? Are you mad? Yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> it's cutting my time with those that I care about. That's not cool. <laughs> Even with that burden to bear, Julie's first thought is for others. We were worried what the families might feel because we're, well, we're taking away something from them, but um, it's been really spectacular. The response from our families have been, hey, you were there for us. Mm -hmm. We understand. Every response has been nothing but supportive. I love seeing people happy and laughing. <laughs> it's the best thing in the world. A long list of good deeds any Santa could stand by may come to an end. How are you going to remember Julie? My little sister. My overachieving Lisa Simpson little sister. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to die tomorrow, I can say I, I did die happy. The legacy of Quiet Santa and of Julie will still speak to this community for years to come. I have a wonderful family. I have a great group of friends. I have someone who loves me. I have a son who's happy and healthy, and I know that I've I've done some good stuff in the community that will, will will carry on. And so, you know, when you add all those things up together, I could kind of say I went out on top. Julie's done a lot of good, and now it's time for all of us to do something good for Julie. Friends and family are having a fundraiser for Julie tomorrow, December 2nd, from 4 until midnight at Double Days in Cottage Grove. There will be a silent auction, raffles, bake sale, food, a photo booth, a band, and a DJ. I bet they'll have the Badger game on as well oh, yeah, for those folks true. to have a good time. So 